yes gurveer beta what was told to us in this story deep water Uh, the narrator tells us about his fear of water and how he faces it uh. yes i think she has some network issue jasmine beta can you link yes location location yes. yes okay do it yes ma'am Ma'am, in this story, um, yes. we are told. Now, Lokesh, beta, wait. Let her start. Then you can continue. Yes. In this story, we are told about overcoming one's feeling of fear. Uh, in this story, it is told that uh, the uh, because of fear only, sometimes we don't start any work. We should not be afraid of the things. We should analyze ourselves. and in this story uh, similarly in this story a young boy of 10 or 12 uh, 11 years uh, was having a fear of water but he practiced and uh, tried to overcome his fear and he was able to overcome it yes good lokesh beta according to the text of the chapter what was told what we read in those two three paragraphs give the summary of that Ma'am, the chapter starts when the ma'am the chapter starts when the poet when the author is about ten to or eleven years old. Mm. When he decided to learn to swim, he decided to swim in YMCA in the Yakima River. Mm. But uh, in contrast to the Yakima River, the YMCA was quite safe. So he decided to uh, learn to swim in that. but her mother continues to warn warn him about all those mishappenings that had happened in the yakima river yes. then uh, then 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 the author describes his uh, the childhood fear of, of from water that he had the the incident he describes starts when he he went with his father when he was about 3 to 4 years on the beach in california he and his father stood together in the surf but he hung on to him but yet the waves knocked him down and swept over him then uh, then uh, there was a fear in his heart at the overpowering force of the waves um, then he describes uh, that when he continues when he continuously practices in ymca his confidence raises and slowly he becomes at, he feels at ease in the water when the but when the misadventure happened yes we have read up to this part that he already had an aversion for water because of the incident that happened with him when he was 3 to 4 years in the beach of california and now when he was 10 to 11 years old he again decided to learn swimming and he started going to ym ca pool thinking it safe but his childish fears unpleasant memories once again come into his mind but somehow he gathered his confidence and he started learning swimming by looking at the boys who were swimming there in that pool and he did this two or three times on different days and was feeling comfortable in the water now but what happened suddenly a misadventure happened with him again we are going to start from this paragraph uh, you can see that it is on page 25 this is the third paragraph i went to the pool when no one was there and he explained us the incident of uh, that unlucky day he said i was alone on the pool no one was there the place was quiet the water was still and the tiled bottom was as white and clean as a bath tub and the water of that pool was very clear because no one had yet entered into that water and even the tiles of the bottom were clear I was timid about going in alone so I sat on the side of the pool to wait for others. He was afraid of going inside the water alone because he was not still having that self confidence for swimming so he was sitting aside and waiting for the others to come so that he could uh, join them for swimming. I had not been there long when in came a big bruiser of a boy 
probably 18 years old. Then he tells us that uh, it was not long time that he had to wait. And then a big bruiser means a bully type boy who came there and he might be near about uh, 18 years old, whereas he was only 10 to 11 years old. And he had thick hair of on his chest. He was a beautiful, beautiful physical specimen with legs, arms that showed rippling muscles. He yelled, hi, skinny, how would you like to be ducked or... He was a great, uh, just like a bodybuilder, a <coughs> bully type of boy. He came and he addressed him as skinny because he was thin. And before thinking or before waiting for his answer, he just asked him that if he would like to be ducked, ducked is a uh, way of swimming, just like a duck when the swimming is done. That is duck, making jump from one side and coming from the other side in the way of the duck. With that, he picked me up and tossed me into the deep end. And he did not wait for the answer. Suddenly, he picked the author and tossed him into the deep water. I landed in a sitting position. He was thrown into the water and he landed there in the water in the sitting position. Swallowed water and went at once to the bottom. And... In that position, he swallowed some water and went to the bottom of the pool. Pani ke bilkul niche wali step par wo pahunch gaya aur pani jo tha uske andar, body ke andar, muh se andar chala gaya. I was frightened but not yet frightened out of my wits. He was frightened, dara hua tha, lekin itna bhi jada nahi tha ki wo apne brain ko use na kar pata. But not yet frightened out of my wits means he was not out of his wits. He was still able to think over his brain was working properly and he was able to think over. On the way down, I planned when my feet hit the bottom, I would make a big jump, come to the surface, lie flat on it and paddle to the edge of the pool. He might have heard this from someone. That's why he thought like that and he made a planning when he was going to the bottom of the pool that when his feet would hit the bottom, जैसे उसके पैर जो हैं वो पूल के बॉटम स्टेप पर टच करेंगे, he would make a big jump and come to the surface and then he would lie flat on the surface and paddle to the edge of the pool. He was thinking in his mind कि जैसे उसके पैर बॉटम के साथ टच करेंगे वो एक बड़ा सा जंप लगाएगा और एकदम वो पानी के ऊपर तह पर आ जाएगा and then he would lie flat so that the water that he had swallowed would come out. And then he would paddle to the edge of the pool. And in this way, he would be able to save himself. It was his planning when he was going downwards. That means he was taking the help of his brain, his wits that were helping him to think over. It seemed a long way down. But as he was going to the bottom of that pool, he felt that it was a long way down. time. Those nine feet were more like 90. We have been told in the beginning that it was not very deep. It was having only nine feet on one side and the other side it was told that it was only two or three feet deep at the shallow end and while it was nine feet deep at the other end. And those nine feet were now looking him just like 90 feet and before I touched the bottom, my lungs were ready to burst and he was not able to reach to the bottom. His feet were not touching the bottom and he felt that his lungs would burst because he had swallowed the water. Pani, uske lungs ke aise chala gaya tha, or he was feeling that his lungs would burst. Ho but when my feet hit bottom, I summoned all my strength and made what I thought was a great spring upwards. But he was having still that planning in his mind and when he felt that his feet had touched the bottom, he summoned his whole courage, all his strength and made what I thought was a great spring upwards and tried to make a jump. He tried to make a jump so that he could come upward and I imagined I would bob to the surface like a cock and he was imagining that he will come with the jump like the cock of a Bottle, जैसे bottle का ढक्कन होता है, उसको जैसे आप एकदम लगाते हो तो उछल कर वो आता है बार. In the same way, he thought that he would also jump like that. Instead, I came up slowly. लेकिन ऐसा नहीं हुआ जैसा कि उसने imagine किया था. 
He came very slowly upwards. I opened my eyes and saw nothing but water. लेकिन जैसे ही आंखें खोल कर देखता है उसको कुछ भी आसपास नजर नहीं आया था इट वॉज ओनली वॉटर वॉटर एवरी वेयर वॉटर दैट हैड ए डर्टी येलो टेंस टू इट ऐसा पानी जो कि गंदगी वाला और येलो शेड में टेंस में कलर में रिफ्लेक्शन उसको दे रहा था आई ग्रीव पैनिक की ही गॉट वेरी मच नर्वस घबरा जाता है बहुत ज़्यादा आई रीस्ट अप एज इफ टू ग्रैब अ रोप एंड माई हैंड्स क्लच ओनली एट वॉटर ही ट्राई टू कैच होल्ड ऑफ द रोप्स स्विमिंग पूल्स में रोप्स बन भी होती हैं सो दैट द स्विमर्स कैन टेक द हेल्प ऑफ दैट गोइंग इन एंड कमिंग आउट ऑफ द वाटर ही ट्राई टू ग्रैब दैट रोप बट हिज हैंड्स वर ओनली क्लचिंग द वाटर ही वॉज नॉट एबल टू कैच होल्ड ऑफ एनी थिंग आई वॉज सफोकेटिंग एंड ही फेल्ट एज इफ ही वॉज नॉट हैविंग प्रॉपर ब्रीदिंग आई ट्राई टू येल येल मीन्स क्राई ही ट्राई टू शाउट बट नो साउंड केम आउट लेकिन उसके गले से आवाज़ ही नहीं आ रही थी then my eyes and nose came out of the water but not my mouth he again tried and found that his eyes and nose were out of water but not his mouth his mouth was still under the water i flailed at the surface of the water wo pani ki us stay ke upar hi idhar udhar ghoomta ja raha tha flailed has to moved without any control without any uh, थिंकिंग और उसको ऐसा लग रहा था उसका अपने बॉडी के ऊपर कोई कंट्रोल नहीं है ही वॉज जस्ट मूविंग ऑन द सर्फेस ऑफ द वाटर स्वेलोड एंड चोक फिर से पानी जो था ही स्वेलोड द वाटर इन साइड एंड हिज थ्रोट वॉज चोकिंग वॉज नॉट एबल टू स्पीक आई ट्राई टू ब्रिंग माई लेग्स अप बट दे हंग एज डेड वेट्स पैरालाइज एंड रिटेड सी इज क्रिटिकल कंडीशन बिकमिंग नाउ वंस ही ट्राइड एंड ही केम आउट हिज आईज एंड नोज वर आउट ऑफ वाटर बट नॉट द माउथ नाउ अगेन ही वेंट इन टू द वाटर ही ट्राइड to bring his legs up but they hung as dead weights he felt as if they were having a lot of weight and he was not able to move his legs as if they he had got some paralyzed attack and rigid rigid means hard paralyzed attack samajhte na when the one part of the body stops working movement band ho jati hai ek part mein body ki adhrang jisko bolte hain so he felt like that and he felt that it was become rigid very hard and he was not able to move his legs a great force was pulling me under and he felt that something great was pulling him down and down wo upar aane ki koshish kar raha tha jump laga kar jabki niche se koi force jo tha that were the waves of the water very strong waves of the water that were pulling him down and he felt some great force was taking him down and down i screamed he again tried to shout cry but only the water heard me but his voice was not coming so much out of the water and only the water could hear him i had started on the long journey back to the bottom of the pool and once again he was going downwards toward the pool that was a long journey for him was not able to come out i struck at the water as i went down expending my strength as one in a nightmare fight an irresistible force he was striking the water trying to come up but some force was taking him down and down and he was feeling as if he was struggling with an irresistible force just like in nightmare jaise koi dravna sapna aata hai to hum log sapne mein kai baar us cheez ko apne aage se hatane ki koshish karte hain some terrible thing is there is a ghost ya kuch bhi aisa feeling hoti hai he felt as if he was using his strength in the nightmare fights to put that irresistible force the force that was coming from downward and he was not able to resist that force usko dur karne ki wo koshish kar raha hai i had lost all my breath he was not able to take proper breathing my lungs ached uske lungs mein dard hone shuru ho gayi started paining because they were full of water my head throbbed uska sir jo tha wo bhi uska <coughs> throbbing just like the heart beating uska sir bhi jo आवाज़ें निकालने लगा आई वॉज गेटिंग बिजी फीलिंग वेरी बिजी उसको चक्कर आने लगे जैसे घूम रहा है उसका सिर बट आई रिमेंबर द स्ट्रेटजी बट ही वॉज नॉट एबल टू यूज दैट स्ट्रेटजी विच ही स्टिल रिमेंबर्ड वॉट वॉज दैट स्ट्रेटजी स्ट्रेटजी दैट ही थॉट एंड प्लान इन द बिगनिंग दैट आई वुड स्प्रिंग फ्रॉम द बॉटम ऑफ द पूल एंड कम लाइक अ कॉक टू द सर्फेस आई वुड लाइव फ्लैट ऑन द वॉटर स्ट्राइक आउट विद माई आर्म्स एंड फ्रेश विद माई लेग्स then i would get to the edge of the pool and be safe
still he remembered that strategy that whenever his feet would touch the bottom of the pool, he would come up, he would make a big jump, a strong jump, and then he would come out of the water just like a cock to the surface. Then he would lie down, strike the water with his arms and legs, move away the water, and then he would go to the edge of the pool and he would be safe. He still remembered that strategy but was not able to execute this policy or the planning. I went down, down endlessly. He was not able to come out. His feet were not touching the ground, the bottom of the pool. He was going downwards and downwards as, as if it was endless uh, depth. I opened my eyes. Again, he tried to see by opening the eyes. Nothing but water with a yellow glow, dark water that one could see through. He was only able to see the water which was first giving the yellow glow, yellow tinge. Now it was becoming dark water because as he was going downward, the dirt of the water was also coming and the water was becoming more dark. He was not able to see anything. And then sheer stark terror seized me. Terror that knows no understanding. Terror that knows no control. Terror that no one can understand who has not experienced it. Note down this definition of the terror, what it gives. Jab dar ki feeling, fear jo hai, wo strong fear ban jata hai. That is the feeling of terror. And it was only the star tear that seized him. Aur bhyanak dar jo tha, usko bhere huye tha. And this type of terror, ki jab aap itna jada dare huye te ho, to aapko koi bhi seed samaj nahi aati. Aapka apne aapne koi control nahi rehta. That is the same situation he is explaining. Terror that knows no understanding, aisa dar, jismei wo kuch bhi samaj nahi paa raha tha. Terror that knows no control, ki aisa dar, jiska ki is jismei ki uska apne aapke upar koi control nahi tha. Terror that no one can understand, ki aisa dar, jisko dousra bhi koi nahi samaj sakta, who has not experienced it, jisne kabhi aaj tak aisa anubhav na kiya ho. Mata aisa dar, aisi bhaavna, जिसको कि कोई दूसरे ने अनुभव ना किया हो वो दूसरे की प्रॉब्लम को समझ भी नहीं सकता है ऐसा इट वॉज आई वॉज श्रीकिंग अंडर वॉटर एंड ही वॉज इन अ वेरी क्रिटिकल कंडीशन श्रीकिंग मीन्स शाउटिंग क्राइंग विद पेन अंडर वॉटर आई वॉज पैरालाइज अंडर वॉटर और ऐसा था जैसे कि पानी के अंदर उसको पैरालाइज हो गया हो स्टिफ रिजिड विद फियर बहुत ज़्यादा हार्ड स्टिफ उसका बॉडी हो गया एंड ही वॉज फुल ऑफ फियर इवन द स्क्रीम्स इन माई थ्रोट वर फ्रोजन कि इवन उसकी जो डरने की आवाज़ें थी चीखने की आवाज़ जो थी वो भी बहुत ज़्यादा ऐसे लग रहा था उसका थ्रोट जो है वो फ्रीज हो गया ही वॉज नॉट एबल टू क्राई इवन शाउट क्राई की भी आवाज़ें जो थी उसकी नहीं सुनाई दे रही थी ओनली माई हार्ट एंड the pounding in my head said that i was still alive the only thing that made him alive and made him feel this thing that he was alive that was his heart and the pounding in his head the beating of his heart that tells him that he was alive otherwise he felt that he had got some paralyzed attack and he was not able to move his body and then in the midst of the terror came a touch of reason then still he was able to have the reasoning power reasoning power means the thinking power thinking about that strategy and the planning which he had made amidst that terror even he was able to think over i must remember to jump when i hit the bottom and what was that reasoning that reasoning came in his mind that he would jump when he would hit the bottom and last i felt the tiles under me at last i felt the tiles under me my toes reached out as if to grab them aur usko kya mehsoos hua ki aakhir kar usko laga ki uske pair jo the wo zameen ko touch kar rahe the tiles ko bottom ko touch kar rahe the and my toes reached out as if to grab them aur jaise ki zameen ko pakadne ki koshish kar rahe the uske toes and i jumped with everything i had i everything i had means the strength whatever strength he had whatever the body allows him he jumped with that strength and tried to come up as he felt that his toes were touching the 
tiles. But the jump made no difference. But he was not successful to come out of the water because this jump made no difference. He was still under water. The water was still around me. I looked for ropes, ladders, water wings, nothing but water. Kuch bhi usko nazar nahi aara tha. Koi bhi cheez uske haath mein nahi aari thi. He was not able to grab the ropes, the ladders or even the water wings. Everything was in the water for him and there was all around water and water. A mass of yellow water held me. Aur kya mehsus karta hai? Ki jase paani ka ek bohat badi leher jo thi, usne usko apne lepet mein liya hua tha. Stark terror took an even deeper hold on me. Aur jada dar jo tha, uska strong ho gaya, aur deep ho gaya, like a great charge of electricity. He was feeling as if he had a shock of electricity. Electricity ka chhatka usko bohat tez laga ho, aisa wo feel karne laga. I shook and troubled, trembled with fright. Or ab wo kaam raha tha, aur dar ke saath, with fright means dar ke saath trembled kaam raha tha pura uska body jo tha as if he was becoming weak and it was trembling my arms would not move my legs would not move i tried to call for help to call for mother nothing happened he was not able to move his legs his arms he was crying shouting for his mother to help but nothing happened because when we are in critical situations we always remember our mother कोई भी प्रॉब्लम होती है तो आप कहते हैं ना हाय माँ या कहीं दर्द होती है या कुछ प्रॉब्लम में हो तो वी ऑलवेज रिमेम्बर आवर मदर इन द सेम वे ही ऑल्सो ट्राई टू कॉल हिज मदर फॉर हेल्प बट नथिंग हैपन नो वन केम टू हिज हेल्प बिकॉज नो वन वॉज एबल टू लिसन हिज वॉइस हिज वॉइस वॉज नॉट कमिंग आउट ऑफ द वॉटर एंड देन स्ट्रेंजली देर वॉज लाइट एंड देन ही सॉ देर वॉज लाइट I was coming out of the awful yellow water and he thought that he was coming out of that yellow tinge of the water. At least my eyes were, my nose was almost out too. Then he again felt that his eyes and his nose was out of water. Then I started down a third time. But what happened? Once again he was pulled down by the force of the waves and this is for the third time that he again went to the water. I sucked for air, got water, he tried to take breathing in the air but he got water again, again he swallowed some water. The yellowish light was going out and at the light that he just felt because his eyes were out of the water that was going out again he was coming into the darkness of the water then all efforts ceased all his efforts all his struggle came to an end cease means stopped he was not able to do anything not able to come up with the jump even i relaxed and then he felt easy even my legs felt limp. See the next situation that is going when we are in trouble. We try to do something to come out of that pain or the problem or the trouble by shouting, crying, taking help or doing some efforts. But when a person is in such a situation, he feels that he is not going to live. He is going to die. Then all efforts are stopped. Then we don't make any efforts because at that time the person is not in pain. person is at ease. Comfort situation may come to and then no efforts are made and he reached to that situation that he felt that all efforts had ceased and now he became relaxed his legs felt limp a blackness swept over my brain uska brain jo tha uske upar bhi ek darkness ek blackness swept over because he thought that he was not able to think over now and what happened when you are not able to think over there is no fear fear tabhi hota jab hum sochte hain hamara dimag kaam karta hai now when he felt that there was blackness all over his brain the fear also went away it wiped out fear means jo brain ki blackness thi thi usne uske man ke dar ko bhi dur kar diya it wiped out terror there was no panic koi ghabrahat nahi thi koi fear nahi tha koi terror nahi tha it was quiet and peaceful sab kuch uske liye shant tha chupchap tha 
नथिंग टू बी अफ्रेड ऑफ कुछ भी डरने वाली बात नहीं थी दिस इज नाइस टू बी ड्राउजी बिकॉज ही वॉज गोइंग टू बिकम अनकॉन्शियस ड्राउजी मीन्स अनकॉन्शियस सिचुएशन में पहुँच पहुँच गया था टू गो टू स्लीप नो नीड टू जर्म पैसे लग रहा था वो सोने जा रहा है एंड देर इज नो नीड टू जर्म बिकॉज ही वॉज नॉट हैविंग एनी प्रॉब्लम नो पेन नो फियर नो टेरर इन इज माइंड सो देर इज नो नीड टू जर्म too tired to jump and he felt that he was too tired exhausted and he would not be able to jump so he stopped thinking of this planning it's nice to be carried gently to float along in space tender arms around me tender arms like mothers now i must go to sleep and what idea came in his mind that it is very nice to go to sleep and float along in the space Uh, in the tender arms of his mother and he was going to sleep that is the condition of unconsciousness when he was not able to think over and his brain was swept over by the blackness darkness the whole fear all type of fears came out of the mind there was no terror no panic and he felt himself exhausted and feeling comfortable and quiet peaceful and he wanted to sleep that was the condition of unconsciousness he was becoming unconscious he was fainting i crossed to oblivion and the curtain of life fell he felt that i have crossed the oblivion the area and forgetfulness oblivion means forgetfulness because he was not able to use his brain he thought that he had forgot everything he had crossed that area of reasoning and the curtain of life fell usko laga ki ab uski zindagi ka parda jo hai wo girne ja raha hai that means he was going to die this was the only feeling in his mind the next i remember i was lying on my stomach beside the pool vomiting so he explained about this misadventure he says after that i don't remember anything what i remember after that that i was lying on the stomach beside the pool vomiting pool ke bahar पेट के बल लेटा हुआ था एंड ही वॉज वॉमिटिंग द चैप दैट थ्रू मी इन वॉज सेंग बट आई वॉज ओनली फूलिंग एंड द बॉय बुली बॉय हु हैड थ्रोन हेम इन टू द वॉटर वॉज सेंग दैट आई वॉज ओनली फूलिंग कि मैं तो सिर्फ मजाक ही कर रहा था सी समाइम्स वॉट हैपन्स कि आर फन बिकम्स अ प्रॉब्लम फॉर अदर्स लाइफ एंड दैट बॉय वॉज जस्ट सेंग दैट ही वॉज जस्ट फूलिंग सम वन सेट द किड नियरली डाइड कोई आसपास कह रहा था कि बच्चा तो बिल्कुल ही मरने वाला था बी ऑल राइट नाउ लेट्स कैरी हिम टू द लॉकर रूम नाउ ही इज़ ऑल राइट हम इसको लॉकर रूम में ले जाते हैं मीन्स सम पीपल हैड गैदर देयर एंड दे वर टॉकिंग देयर गिविंग देयर डिफरेंट व्यूज बट द बॉय हु थ्रोन हिम हु हैज थ्रोन हिम द बुली बॉय यू वॉज जस्ट थिंकिंग दैट इट वॉज ओनली अ फन सेवरल आवर्स लेटर आई वॉक होम बहुत कई घंटों के बाद जब वो घर की तरफ चला वॉट वॉज इज कंडीशन i was weak trembling i shook and cried when i lay on my bed i could not eat that night for days a haunting fear was in my heart haunting fear hota hai ki baar baar aapko dara raha hai aap kuch bhi nahi karne ke qabil ho jate aap kahi dekh rahe ho to aapko wahi scene nazar aa raha hai aap kuch sun rahe ho to aapko wahi awaazein sunai de rahi hain ek haunting fear matlab hamesha uske man mein ye ek dar jo tha wo dil mein baith gaya और घर की तरफ जा रहा है कमज़ोर काम का हुआ कि वेन एवर ही ट्राई टू लाई ऑन एज बेड ही वॉज ट्रेम्बलिंग एंड ही वॉज क्राइंग कुड नॉट ईट एनी थिंग फॉर दैट डे द स्लाइटेस्ट एग्जर्शन अपसेट मी थोड़ा सा भी वो मूवमेंट करता है एग्जर्ट करता अपने आप को तो दैट वॉज अपसेटिंग थिंग ही वॉज फीलिंग सो वीक मेकिंग मी वॉबली वॉबली मीन्स वीक इन द नीज एंड सिक टू माई स्टमक जैसे उसका पेट अपसेट हो सिक हो या उसके घुटनों में कोई ताकत नहीं है ही वॉज फीलिंग वेरी वीक इन इज नीज एंड वॉज नॉट एबल टू स्टैंड इवन स्लाइटेस्ट एग्जर्शन वॉज ऑल्सो अपसेटिंग हिम आई नेवर वेंट बैक टू द पूल आई फीयर वॉटर आई एवॉडेड इट वेन एवर आई कुड सी अगेन द अवर्शन फ्रॉम वॉटर डिसलाइकिंग and the fear of water was created in his mind with this miss happening miss adventure he never went after that to the pool he had again developed a fear of water and he avoided to go near water a few years later when i came to know the waters of the cascades i wanted to get it to them lekin 
after a few years again he liked the water of the cascades waterfall ke bare mein mention kiya hai cascades the waterfall and i wanted to get into them he wanted to go there and enjoy it. and whenever i did whether i was wading the titan or bumping river or bathing in warm lake of the goat breaks rocks the terror that had seized me in the pool would come back कि जब भी वो उसके फ्रेंड्स जो थे वो बोटिंग वगैरह पे या कैनोइंग पे या फिशिंग के लिए वो जाया करते थे एंड वेन एवर ही ट्राई टू गो अलॉन्ग विद हिज फ्रेंड्स ऑन द टाइटन बम्पिंग रिवर और टू बाथ इन द वॉम लेक ऑफ द ग्रेट रॉक्स दैट टेरर सीज हिम द टेरर ऑफ द पूल ड्राउनिंग इन टू द पूल केम बैक इन टू हिज माइंड एंड ही वॉज नॉट एबल टू स्टे देयर इट वुड टेक पोजिशन ऑफ मी कम्प्लीटली पूरी तरह से वो डर जो था उसको जकड़ लेता था पोजेस कर लेता था उसको पूरी तरह से अपने आप में सीज कर लेता जकड़ लेता था माई लेग्स वुड बिकम पैरालाइज आई सी हॉर वुड ग्रैप माई हार्ट बाहर खड़े भी उसको ऐसे लगता कि उसकी टांगे जो थी वो फिर से पैरालाइज हो गई हैं आई सी हॉर स्ट्रेंज टाइप ऑफ फीलिंग ऑफ हॉर टेरर से भी ऊपर जो स्ट्रॉन्ग डार की फीलिंग है उसको उसके हार्ट को ग्रैब कर लेती मतलब पूरी तरह से वो डर की फीलिंग के साथ जकड़ा होता एंड ही वॉज नॉट एबल टू बियर द सीन ऑफ वाटर वेन एवर ही वॉन्टेड टू गो अलॉन्ग विद हिज फ्रेंड्स ही कुड नॉट डू एनी थिंग देयर एंड ही अवॉइड इट दिस हैंडी कैप स्टेड विद मी एज द ईयर्स ओल्ड बाई काफ़ी साल बीत गए और दिस हैंडी कैप मीन्स दिस प्रॉब्लम दिस वीकनेस कमी जो थी उसको महसूस हो रही थी अपने आप में पानी से डरने की एक अवर्शन पानी से डिसलाइकिंग फॉर द वाटर द फियर दैट ही हैड बाय लुकिंग एट द वाटर दैट स्टेड विद हिम फॉर मेनी इयर्स इन कैनोज ऑन मेनी लैक्स फिशिंग और लैंड फॉर लैंड लॉक सेलमन सेलमन इज द नेम ऑफ अ फिश कि वेन एवर हिज फ्रेंड्स दे गो इन द स्मॉल बोट्स कैनोज मीन्स इन द स्मॉल बोट्स एंड दे गो टू मेन लेक्स फॉर फिशिंग and bass fishing in new hampshire trout fishing on the deserts and materials in origin these are the names of the places mentioned and different types of fishing is mentioned fishing for salmon on columbia at bumping lake in cascades wherever i went the haunting fear of water followed me and it ruined my fishing trips deprived me of joy of canoeing boating and swimming he went along with his friends to different places but he was not able to enjoy any type of swimming neither for fishing nor for canoeing nor for boating etc it ruined all his fishing trips and he was deprived of joy of canoeing boating and swimming he was not able to tolerate the scenes of water he could not see the water he was so full of terror uski dar ki feeling jo thi wo usko chhod nahi rahi thi so students i am finishing it here we'll continue tomorrow with the rest of the part because we are left only with one minute if you have any doubt you can ask